welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. It's Monday so it is meal prep day. I have three fantastic recipes for you. I have a breakfast, a lunch, and a sweet treat that is so easy to make. So I'm super excited to share these three recipes with you. If you're excited for today's video, give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me and really helps out my channel. And of course, if you're new and you're not yet subscribed, I am this close to hitting that 30,000 subscriber mark by the end of the year. So go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I upload. I am doing Vlogmas, so I'm uploading every day for the month of December, well, most of the month. So you certainly don't wanna miss out on a single video. Make sure you're checking out that description box down below where you're going to find these three recipes on my recipe website. You'll also find my nutrition coaching website I do offer macro and calorie calculation, as well as 30 minute and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one sessions. Nutrition coaching makes a great gift and get yourself set up for success moving into the new year. We're literally a couple weeks away. So head on over and check out my nutrition coaching. Links, discount codes to my favorite things, including the items I showed you today, are also in that description box along with my Facebook group. We'd love to have you head on over and join us there. We are 17,000 members strong and growing, so Join us over on Facebook. So without further ado, we have some fun recipes to make, so let's jump in. For breakfast this week, I'm making mixed berry French toast bake. I've been wanting French toast and I thought this was a great way to incorporate a little bit of fruit into breakfast as well. For this recipe, you'll need some low fat or fat free milk, honey, salt, cinnamon, and vanilla extract, eggs, a loaf of bread, and make sure whatever bread you choose is one smart point per slice if you're going to use the points calculation that I am going to be giving you. So I have this Sara Lee Delightful 45 calorie bread, and then you're going to need either fresh or frozen berries. You need blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. So this is a perfect combination because it has all of those items in it. So let's make some French toast bake. The first thing we need to do is cut this entire loaf of bread into quarter size pieces. Into a large bowl, add three tablespoons of honey. I just went ahead and weighed this out on my food scale. That's much easier. And to that, we're going to add half of a cup of warm water, and then we are going to whisk until the honey is fully combined with the water. Now we're going to add in two cups of low fat or fat free milk and crack in six large eggs. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is. Now we're going to add in our cinnamon, and I am going to add quite a bit, about a tablespoon, just because I really like cinnamon and the flavor that it adds. And then we're going to put in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a pinch of salt, and then whisk that together again until everything is fully combined. Into a grease nine by 13 baking dish, we are going to add all of the bread. You wanna have a pretty decent, even layer over the bottom of the dish. To the bread, we are going to add the egg mixture, pour that right over the top. Just make sure that you get some egg in every little crevice between the pieces of bread. And then we are going to let this sit for about 20 minutes so the bread has a chance to soak up a bit of the eggs. 20 minutes later. So now we're going to add, I'm gonna do the whole bag of the frozen fruit just right to the top of the bread. My oven is preheating to 350 degrees and we're going to put this in for 45 to 50 minutes or until the French toast is browned and nice and crispy and those berries have really cooked as well and kind of soaked into the bread. This is gonna be so good. So this is going to go into the oven at 350. 
The French toast bake is out of the oven. This looks so good. The berries are nice and soft. Everything is cooked completely through. So this French toast bake makes eight servings. It is only five points per serving on blue and purple and seven points on the green plan just because you do have to count for the eggs used in the recipe. Any additional toppings like syrup or butter would be extra points, but my plan is to pair this with some eggs and kind of make a more well-rounded protein packed breakfast. So this is the mixed berry French toast bake. For my lunches this week, I'm making a smoked sausage, potato, and veggie sheet pan. This is going to be so good, nice and hearty, comfort food. We have potatoes, veggies, sausage, so really well-rounded lunch and really good on points. So let me show you what's in our lunch. First, you're going to need some oil of your choice. I have the Chosen Foods avocado oil and quite a few spices, starting with the Dax Green Zest. Now, I'm using this in place of rosemary because I don't have any, and this is my favorite seasoning ever on vegetables and potatoes. So with Dax, everything is no salt added, no MSG, all natural, clean, clean ingredients. And this one seriously is the best on veggies, especially on potatoes. It is spices, dehydrated onion, garlic, and lemon peel. That's everything that's in this. I love that Dax. If you are someone that watches your salt or before weigh-in, these are great options. I'll link them down below with 10% and free shipping. Check them out. I have every seasoning as you know, and I love them. Great way to support a small business as well, which we're all about that right now. And then I'm going to be using the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning, garlic salt, red chili pepper flakes, and of course just some salt and pepper. You'll need some potatoes, sausage of your choice. I'm using the Sam's Choice Chicken Apple. My points are calculated based on the sausages being two smart points per link. So if you use a higher point sausage, you'll definitely want to add points for that and then an onion and a couple of bell peppers. So let's get started. It's time to do some chopping, a lot of chopping. So I weighed out one and a half pounds of potatoes on my food scale. We'll chop up the onion, two bell peppers, and then for the sausage, you can chop it one of two ways. You can cut it into bigger chunks if you want a juicier sausage or into rounds, like quarter size rounds, if you want a crispier sausage. I want a crispier sausage, so I'm gonna cut mine into quarter rounds. All of the veggies will go here in this bowl and the sausage will just stay here on my cutting board until we're ready to add everything to the sheet pan. I have my baking sheet here. I did go ahead and put a wire rack down. To that, I'm going to add the onions, bell peppers, and potatoes, and I'm going to spread those out as evenly as I can over the baking sheet. Now we're going to add all of the seasoning. So I'm going to do a tablespoon of oil just right over the top of the potatoes and the onions and peppers and then all of our seasonings starting with some garlic salt and season these to your liking if you're someone that likes your food very seasoned like i do go ahead and add a little bit more i will make sure that the original recipe amount is listed on my website for you and then we're going to add the dax green zest again this is just so so good on veggies and potatoes definitely definitely check out dax and then some everything but the bagel just right over the top that's going to add a little bit of a crunch red chili pepper flakes we don't want very many i don't because i don't like my food really really spicy so just the tiniest bit and then last but not least some salt and pepper if you cut your sausage into larger pieces go ahead and slide the veggies over and put your sausage on one half of the sheet pan if you cut your sausage into coin sizes like i did so i cut mine like this this, then we're actually going to mix them in with the vegetables. So just depending on how you cut your sausage. So we are ready to go into the oven at 425 degrees for 40 minutes. When they are about cooked through, we're going to pop our broiler on to low and let it really crisp up. 
So here is the sheet pan. Doesn't this look so good? Everything is nice and cooked through, nice and crispy. So this entire sheet pan only makes four servings. So I'm going to package these up into my meal prep containers and I'll be back to share exactly what that serving size looks like and give you points and calories. So here is my meal prep packaged out into four servings. This is a big bowl. This is a large cereal bowl. That's a lot of food. So I'm pretty excited about this. You wouldn't really need anything else with this unless you wanted to add a fruit, but it is seven smart points on both the blue and green plan and only three points on purple because you don't have to count for the potato. So that is using the Sam's Choice or a two smart point per link sausage, but I can't wait for lunches this week. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making a no-bake peanut butter bar. This is a super simple recipe. I'm really excited for this. I've been wanting something sweet that's point friendly and everything peanut butter is always really good. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some graham cracker crumbs or whole sheet graham crackers just crushed up. PB2, powdered sugar, I'm using the Lakanto powdered monk fruit sweetener. This one's my favorite. I will link Lakanto down below with a discount for you guys. They're having some really good sales site-wide right now. And then peanut butter of your choice. I just have this once again, all natural crunchy peanut butter, light butter, and lastly, chocolate chips. I'm using a Lily's. So let's make some peanut butter bars. So for our peanut butter bars, we're going to actually mix all of our ingredients in a bowl here. Use our handheld mixer or stand mixer, whatever you have. We're going to start with the melted butter. This is three quarters of a cup. I just measured that out on my food scale. And then we're adding one cup of the monk fruit powdered sweetener. It is two times the sweetness of sugar. So half of a cup equals a cup. The recipe calls for two cups. So we only did one. And then we are also going to add one and a quarter cup of the graham cracker crumbs. Now, if you use sheet graham crackers that you're crushing up yourself, you wanna do two cups. But because these are already pre-crushed that would have been overkill and adding a lot of points to our recipe so i did one and a quarter cup of the graham cracker crumbs and then we are going to mix this together with our hand mixer until combined now we're going to add one and a quarter cup of pb2 so all i did is just mix my powdered peanut butter with some water and created the consistency of actual peanut butter by doing this and using pb2 or pb fit we're saving a ton of points because regular peanut butter would have really risen the points of this recipe to probably like 10 to 12 per bar so this way we're getting the peanut butter flavor and we're saving on points and calories mix until just combined to a nine by nine baking dish go ahead and add some parchment paper and then we are going to add the peanut butter mixture to the baking dish and spread it evenly on the bottom In my bowl here, I have three tablespoons of actual peanut butter, five servings of Lily's chocolate chips. I'm going to pop this in the microwave just long enough to melt the peanut butter and chocolate together. Here is the peanut butter chocolate mixture. Mine's a little chunky because I used chunky peanut butter. Make sure you are using real peanut butter for this step. Three tablespoons is all you're using because you need the fat from the peanut butter to melt down with the chocolate to make it so the chocolate doesn't seize up. So all we're going to do now is just add the chocolate peanut butter mixture right over the top of the bars oh my gosh this looks so delicious spread that out nice and evenly and then you can cut these into bars before putting them in the fridge that's what the recipe says it just says it's a little easier to cut them into bars i'm not going to do that i am going to let this solidify in the refrigerator first and then cut it into bars but you can really work it either way so i'm going to spread this out we're going to pop this in the refrigerator for about an hour and that should help everything set all right we're going in the refrigerator for one hour one hour later i just pulled out the peanut butter bars they are nice and hard these smell so delicious so let's go over points i'm actually going to store them in this container i will cut them when i go to eat them for the first time but we're going to cut this into 16 bars so they're 
going to be about two inches by three inches or so in size. It is five smart points for all plans for one of the bars, which is not bad for a sweet treat, not to mention you're getting in a little bit of healthy fats and some protein. So I'm excited about these. You could cut the bars even smaller if you wanted to lower the points, but I don't think five points for a dessert is too bad at all. It was quick, it was easy, and this would actually be a great recipe to serve on the holidays. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Meal Prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I'm telling you, they're all absolutely incredible and it was pretty easy to make every single one of them. So it's quick and easy during this busy time of year. Again, you will find my recipe website down in the description box down below, as well as my nutrition coaching website, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. So head on over and join us there. Give this video a thumbs up, of course, if you enjoyed it. And don't forget if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell next to it. I'd love to have you here on my YouTube community. Thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas. Happy Vlogmas, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.